Well, we're going to upload the latest version of Pro Tools 9. And we do it right here from the Avid website. Now, you can pay for it from Avid right here, of course, Pro Tools 9. And the important thing is you got to make sure you're compatible. Now, to find if you are, you can scroll down here on this page here, and you can go to compatibility. And here, you'll see it says here, Avid Qualified Mac OS X or Windows-based computer. And right here, you'll get the qualifications. And you'll find out whether you have it or not. Here's our compatibility and upgrade information that you need to know, which is important. And the requirements for any system that you're going to use. Now, the new software requires you to have several drivers. To get those drivers, you can get them right here where it says Get Help. You can get the latest driver. Here's our Pro Tools 9 software guide. Compatibility upgrade information. Of course, answers in the knowledge base. And of course, a support form. We've got the Pro Tools training that Avid offers you as well. So, but when I uploaded my software, I had to make sure I had a couple of things, which I'm pretty sure you're going to need as well. Now, since the newer software only has two versions, just the HD version and also the Pro Tools version, which is called, I believe, Crossgrade. What happens here, there's no more LE, there's no more Empowered. It's just Pro, Pro Tools 9 and Pro Tools HD 9. Now, here, the drivers I needed was, uh, let's see, the Mbox 2 Pro driver. And this is important so that your Pro Tools 9 software will recognize your Mbox 2 Pro. I also needed an Mbox 2 driver. So we have both of them in our studios for our lesson plans. And so we have to put this driver also in our system. You'll need the MIDI I.O. driver. This is for the writing of MIDI information, of course, and I.O. in your system. And if you got the regular, the first, very first Mbox, there's a driver for that as well. Now, the great features here in Pro Tools is that now, not only is it compatible, but you can take a Mac session and also play it again in a Windows session, which is really great. So I can get a session from someone who did it in the Windows, put it right in the system, and play it, and work with the session right there. Now, you get the flexibility of using Pro Tools 9 with your favorite Avid audio interface or anything else also as well. That means I can use my Pro Tools, um, Mbox, LE, Digi Dizzy 002, 003, or I can pull out anything else I have I'm working with, which is really great, of course. We can create bigger sessions. I can develop large and more complex projects, you know, where I can have like 96 or 192 simultaneous audio tracks. Wow, that's really great. And 128 instrument tracks. You can read right here, of course. I can be more creative and convert my stuff for professional tools. That means I can go from my Pro Tools 9 up to HD much faster, much better. Plus, we have Beat Detective, which can be done over multiple tracks, which we will show you in these lessons also as well. So you can read all the information right here from their website, and this will get you to understand how the whole system works. We'll explain as we go along through the lesson plan, and now we'll get started. Now remember, you can buy the DVDs from our SampleKings.com website, or you can join our skrecordingschool.com and view the lesson. 